Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure you unplug the appliance before beginning. Your first step is to release the main top. Whether your model has a control panel at the rear or at the front, the procedure is the same. Insert a putty knife under the front of the main top to release the spring clips. Now rotate the top up and support it. Depending on your model, the next step is to disconnect the door switch wires or the wire harness. If necessary, you may also need to remove the zip tie securing the wires. Now, remove the front panel mounting screws and pull the front panel up and out to remove. If still intact, remove the old upper felt seal from the drum support rim and clean off any residue. Prepare the new felt seal for installation by first applying the high temperature adhesive to the drum support rim. Allow the adhesive to set for one minute, then align the new seal around the rim, applying pressure as you go. Repeat the procedure for the lower felt seal. Allow the adhesive to dry while you replace the other parts in the kit. Your next step is to remove the screws to release the rear access panel. Reach into the cabinet and push the idler pulley to release the tension on the belt and unthread the belt from the pulley and motor shaft. If applicable, detach the spacer at the front of the cabinet by removing the mounting screw. Now, use the belt to help lift the drum up and out and discard the old belt. Remove the screws to release the old bearing hitch. Now remove the screws to release the old support cup along with the front and rear brackets. You're now ready to install the new bearing hitch and support cup. Position the new bearing hitch and secure it with the mounting screws. Be aware the holes in the hitch are not pre-threaded, so this may require some effort. Prepare the new bearing support for installation by first inserting the grounding ball into the cup, then align the new front bracket and screws. Position the rear bracket against the dryer's back panel. Then, align the support cup and front bracket and secure the assembly with the mounting screws. Generously apply the lubricant to the bearing hitch and cup. Replace the drum into the cabinet and position by lowering the bearing hitch into the cup. Reinstall the spacer. Your next step is to disconnect the spring and pull out the old idler pulley. Install the new idler pulley by first attaching the spring, then slide the pulley onto the motor carriage pivot. Install the new belt by sliding it over the drum, rib side down. Reach through the rear panel and thread the belt onto the pulley and motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Now, rotate the drum to help align the belt. Position the rear access panel and secure the screws. Reinstall the front panel by aligning the slots at the bottom of the panel with the support clips. Then lift up the drum as you snap the front panel into place. Secure the mounting screws and reconnect the wire harness 
or door switch wires, depending on your model. Use a zip tie to secure the wires. Rotate the main top back into place and press down on the front to secure the spring clips. You're now ready to plug the appliance back in to make sure it's functioning properly.